right, we're going to move on to today's program. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Um, I'm very pleased to introduce our program for today's meeting. It's being presented by Kyle of the Boy Scouts of America Greater State Conservative Council. I uh, is the uh, district executive of the Madison, uh, of both Madison and Bonner counties. He uh, was born and raised in St. Louis and went to Missouri State. Uh, Kyle is an Eagle Scout, and he's been working with the Boy Scouts now for, uh, for three months, and uh, recently moved to uh, Detroit, Illinois. In addition to Kyle presenting today, we have three scouts that have, uh, that have joined us. Uh, first of all, we have uh, Jackson Colvin, who is a first class scout with Truth 8030. Um, we have Dominic uh, Kirpin, um, who is a scout with Truth 8031. And Annalise Kirpin, who is a scout with Truth 8027G. So, if you will, please join me in welcoming Kyle Lamb and the scouts. Thank you for that introduction, and uh, everybody from the Boy. Uh, we would like to uh, thank you for the opportunity to come speak today. Um, the youth that you're about to hear from have all been in scouting for years, and they're going to give you testimonies of what their current uh, life is like, how scouting has improved it, and what they currently are doing with their generations of future. Uh, we did like to take a second to uh, Recognize them for coming out. We do appreciate them for, for this event. Also on your table is a flyer. Uh, these are all statistics of what the scouting has done in Van de Madison County, including products in this rotary. So we do thank you for that. Uh, without any further ado, I'll buy Jackson up and let him go. Thank you. Jackson. I have been a scout since first grade. I am now a first class scout in Troop 30 in Edmonton. I love scouting because of all the fun camping trips we did. We recently went on a not really backpacking, but just a weekend camp, and we were able to cook. And we found like this cool little spot that we could tell, and we set that up. It was a lot of fun. And a few months ago, like around August that time, we did popcorn selling, and it's basically, we go in front of buildings or we do show and sell, well, show and sell is when you go in front of like a store and we basically sell the popcorn. Personally, I was the top seller for our troop and pack, and I sold around $6,000 of popcorn, and um, it, it it basically all is about determination because I sometimes really didn't want to go out there, but I did because I really wanted to meet my goal. And over the years, me doing popcorn, I have been able to pay for all of my scout fees. I've been able to pay for everything in basically all I could need. I get rewards, and you can pay for like scouting, uh, like summer camp. And help, and it can also help your troop in PAC. What we did was we raised money for a PAC trailer. We had a pretty old one that we started to break down and we kind of needed a new one. And now this year we're going to try to raise enough money to get a PAC, or sorry, troop trailer instead of a PAC trailer. Because last, because our PAC is much bigger than our troop, so we prioritized them last year. But I was a big help in that, and everybody else, I believe we raised somewhere around like $43,000 of popcorn. And that was all from show and sell and or door to door, door to door, where you go up to someone's house and ask them, like, what about some boys have popcorn? And we also sold coffee, which was a very fun thing. I sold like $1,000 in that. So that was really fun because people are a bit confused that I actually sold coffee because <laughs> you wouldn't think of what's going to be selling coffee instead of just popcorn. And that's basically my campaign and selling popcorn stuff. 
And what we recently, well, what we do is every month we learn about a new merit badge. And uh, the recentest one that we did was flying merit badge. I got to go up in a plane for about 15 minutes and actually fly. We had people from, I believe, the Navy and the Air Force came to come in for us. Or they're tired. They taught us all about flying, like helicopters, different types of planes and stuff like that. And in the Young Eagles Association, I believe it's in Springfield, I believe. Um, we were able to go up in a plane and fly, and that was definitely my favorite merit that we've done so far. Some of the other ones that we've done is climbing, geocaching. What we did the swimming merit badge, but. That's mostly just for summer camp. And that's our merit badge experiences. But I definitely would encourage joining scouting and or just if you have grandchildren or children that would ever want to be in scouting, definitely join it. It is a very good thing and it will help you a lot of life skills. And personally, I've found that it's helped me a lot and I'm trying to go for Eagle. So thank you. <laughs> Hi, my name is Shannon Kirkman. I started Scout in sixth grade. Scout has given me the opportunity of leadership through many ways. The main way is to all the leading positions in the church. Even if you are not a senior leader, you still have to leave the younger Scout to the right path. Also, Scout has given me a lot of service opportunities. The Eagle Scout projects, food drives, and helping at shelters are the main ones that have impacted my life. Another thing is that Scouts has introduced me to many new hobbies. I did the horsemanship merit badge at summer camp last year, and by doing it, I learned a lot about how you take care of horses and how to ride. Lastly, Scouts has impacted my family in many ways. My brother is in my brother's room, so we do a lot of camp outs together. He went to Northern Tier in Belmont, which made me want to do sea bathing this year with him and my dad. We also have just grown closer because it is a great bonding experience. Thank you for listening, and I hope you join us out or donate. Uh, hi, my name is Dominic Kirpin. Uh, I've been in Scouts uh, since like fifth grade. I didn't do much Cub Scouts, but it was something my dad was like, hey, let's try this. I've always been an outdoor person and I love nature and just being able to like go and camp because it's just, just, just a soothing feeling about it. Um, I just, I feel like it's been impacting my life because in the beginning I was kind of like an indoor kid. I didn't like outside, but once I joined the Scouts, I started like camping more and then wanting to do camping trips with my friend, friends and family. And it's even made me want to do uh, things in life like uh, I want to be a photographer and do nature photography. Um, I know I'm only 16, I'm in high school, but like I feel like it's been one of my goals to do nature stuff because of Scouts itself. And I just love outside stuff. and I at least want to be an outside career later in life. Um, we've, I've done Belmont and Northern Tier, like my sister said, and those were great experiences, and they were just a good experience, especially with my dad, because he pushes me to do better, and pushes me to continue in my goals in life. Um, Belmont, which I did last year, was a big backpacking trip that happened in New Mexico, and it was like a two-week experience where we backpacked among the mountain things, and our troop did 75 miles, and we also reached a peak of like 11,000 feet, which was a great view. And it's been pretty um, hard recently with the troop because of like all sick COVID stuff going on. Even though we've had COVID, our troop has stuck through it, and we've continued and stayed strong with camping and just doing other activities like scouting for food, which we go door to door asking people if they could give cans for uh, homeless shelters and cans for food for places that just, they need the food. We also do, during Christmas time, a tree lot out by um, Coles, thank you, uh, out by Coles, and we sell Christmas trees with the Lions Club, 
and we spent uh, around two weeks doing that. This year, it took us, or last year technically, only took us a week to sell all of our trees because we didn't buy so many trees in all, but everybody was buying trees, buy real trees and not fake trees because they wanted to try the new experience. Uh, I also studied in Northern Tier, which is out in Canada, Canada, and you do uh, canoeing with your troop for a week and a half. And we did ours on the Boundary Waters, and that was a really fun experience. It was tough also because we go upstream against the water, but it was a great experience. And I also got to do that with my dad, so he's always been there to help me and push me through um, all scouting things I've done. Um, I'm only a junior, going to be a senior, but I love outdoor stuff, just like I already said. But I feel like it's a good experience for anybody to do outdoor stuff because instead of just staying inside, staying excluding yourself, going outside and being able to play with friends, it's just you got a whole world around you to go outside and go spend time with friends and family. Um, and be able to, there's just so many more experiences out there instead of just indoor stuff, even though I know there's a lot of kids these days that just like staying inside and just playing games and doing that, but there's so many other games you can play outside. And I feel like just camping is an experience everybody should try to include themselves in, especially with family, because it is great bonding and it is fun to just do with family because there's like, you got to set up your own stuff and help each other out instead of just sitting there and just staying away from family all day on your own electronics like phones. And I feel like it's good to bond with family and get close there because it just helps the bond of family. Uh, thank you for having me and uh, thank you. <laughs> so as you guys heard, uh, there was a smidge of what the scouting program does and is all about. Um, basically, our camping even in the power of the United States, uh, we have been a huge help within the community, just like you guys are as part of Rotaries and other organizations such as Lions Club. And we just want to thank you for what you guys have done for our community and your continued support in Edwardsville to make these things happen. Um, as a token of our gratitude, on uh, every single one of you guys' table is a thing of popcorn. It is a uh, sea salt popcorn. Feel free to take it home, enjoy it later with your family. Uh, take a funny moment, see how the, the day was going, and make those connections. Uh, and of course, uh, also on the table is our print scouting campaign. Uh, if you choose for like still, we'll be happy to have, have you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, we'd also be happy to answer those. Um, and I'd like to also thank all the scouters, past and previous in the room. I know that this club specifically has some tenured scouters in here, and we want to thank you for paving the way and also setting the going forth uh, so our youth and our scouts for today are able to enjoy themselves so, differently. So, thank you guys for allowing us to talk today, and we'll be with us. Yes, ma'am. I have two questions. Sure. Uh, first one is <clears throat> come November, would you guys like to? Be hired to sell citrus because <laughs> <laughs> he's my door guy. Don't say good. But for real, how did when people go for their eagle scout and you have to do a project, is that something that you come up with on your own, or do you have like suggestions from the community, or is it a vote? How do you guys decide on the eagle project? So the project itself is actually decided on by the Eagle Scout themselves, the candidate. Um, it can range from any topics within the community. So some of them have done blood drives, some of them have done physical features, like park benches, things of that nature. There's really no set criteria for the Eagle Scout project itself. The main purpose of the project is to show leadership and development in the actual community and the project. Now, with that being said, we at the council do keep a Rolodex of projects um, that certain organizations would like done. So, talk about cheer, things of that nature. Um, if you have some ideas, we'd be happy to add it to that. Um, <laughs> but there's a little bit that say that uh, one scout has to basically do this set of projects. And actually, as of a couple of years ago, Life Scouts, which is like for Eagle, uh, actually do a small miniature project in preparation for the Eagle Scout project in order for that. So it's just another way that they give back to the community and help prepare them 
for that rank of e one and e seven. I know there are countless merit badges that can be attained. What are some of the ones that are more obscure, or unique, or rare that you've heard of? Um, or any of the scouts? Tech sounds. Uh, that is, I personally received that one. That one is one that is not received that often uh, because you actually have to physically include your fabric and you have to dye it on a cone. Uh, a simple one. Uh, aviation is, is one that's not been done very often, which is a really cool one for the community. Uh, that can be done. I think we have 300, almost 360 of them. So, yeah, the one that's Recently, we like the Indian Heritage uh, Day that we did, and that's good. There wasn't that many people there, so I kind of skipped them in the Indian Heritage, that's one. Is there a public speaking one? Because all three of them did very well. Okay. Do the parents want to say something? I say we'd like to ask them up if you guys want to come say something. We have a few more minutes. Yes. Well, my journey with scouts really started um, when Jackson was in grade school. My husband and I decided that uh, it would be a good thing for him. He's an only child. And so um, broadening his horizons was always great. I was a Girl Scout. My boy, my husband was not a Boy Scout. So I, and I always was an outdoors person. And so I always thought that was important. So we started him pretty young in it. Um, and Jackson takes after me a little bit. I'm pretty outgoing. Um, I'm a fundraiser for a living. So the fundraising get with the popcorn comes a little bit of coaching from mom, but it's really him. He uh, um, really took that on and we're super proud of him. What he didn't say about popcorn is he also earns college scholarship from that money. So he's putting that away too. Um, that's a grandfather program that he earned when he was a Cub Scout that he gets to carry all the way through his scouting career. It's actually no longer offered. So I'm really proud of him to stay with that and do that. Um, I didn't become a leader within our organization until he moved up to the troop. Uh, we have a sister uh, troop, much like it sounds like this family does too, boy, girl. Uh, that started three years ago. When we uh, became Scout BSA instead of Boy Scouts of America. Um, as a woman, I think it's awesome because we can actually open up the whole program now to the entire family. Um, and I think families, much like it sounds like the family that was here with us, um, it's kind of nice to be in one organization instead of going every which direction. And so we've always been a family organization with our pack and troop. We run alongside our um, younger group as an ed and our troop. And uh, it's just been really great. It's been really great watching my son grow through the evolution of scouts. You're going to hate me for saying this. He didn't like sleeping away from home. He didn't really like being without the people that he knew. They'll go away for a week now, and I'm like, see ya. <laughs> We're going. Um, and I think that's pretty awesome. The leadership and the confidence that Scouts brings to the table is the, the key thing for me as a parent. And the awareness. These kids are self-aware of what they're doing out there more so than I think some are. And I think Scouts brings that to us. And it's a great organization from the parents' perspective, too. Just great values and, and um, setting those core ways for those children to be moving into the future. Yes, sir. So if your son goes to uh, Philmont, are you going to go out with him and climb the mountain? I could, but I may not because I don't know that he always needs mom to tag along. Um, I choose to step back a lot of times and not participate as a leader just because uh, I don't always need to be there. Uh, it's great because I can be there for our female scouts as an assistant scout master and have another female leader, uh, but I don't. I don't want him to ever feel like it's always because mom's there. Um, so I, I'm really conscious of that. Uh, he's pretty independent these days. So uh, I don't know. I mean, Philmont, do I really want to like all that? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if my back and legs can handle that. So good question, though. I'll turn it over. Dad's room. Thanks. So hi, my name is Nathan Kirkman. Um, I'll tell you, 
we got involved with scouting. I wasn't a scout growing up. I was an outdoors kid. I always seemed to balance that despite growing up in the 80s, you know, where technology was still at our fingertips, it seemed. But um, enjoyed being outdoors. Um, have two older children. Dominic's a third of seven that we have, and still five at home total. Um, and with the older two, we did our own camping trips. We did our own stuff, you know, whether it was soccer or baseball or, or these other things you do. Um, there wasn't a lot of organization behind it. And so, and Dominic brought home, you know, something through scouting, cup scouting um, in grade school. I said, you know, I, I could use a framework. We could use a framework and an organization of other people to help us uh, bring that experience, to bring more to that experience. So long story short, he didn't get involved until being a Weeblo, um, and technically then we transitioned to the Scouts. Um, <laughs> it was probably a year or two in though, when we got involved with the, the University of Scouting, which we're fortunate to have right here at SIUE. Um, people from across the uh, area, or track from a very uh, broad area come and get to participate in kind of a, just a big merit badge day for those that don't know what that is. And that event really opened my eyes to those 300 something merit badges and the diversity of experience that comes with those merit badges and let alone the volunteerism that is employed to pull that off. And then on top of that, the quality of the volunteers. You know, scouting is an organization where the quality of people that are involved are just so much further above myself and my skill set that I have. I, and we all each have our zone of genius. And their zones of genius were, like I'm telling you, uh, the STEM classes were taught by chemists from you know large organizations such as Monsanto or, or Bayer, whatever they are today. Um, but you know, where else are you going to get to expose your children, the youth of today and the leaders of tomorrow? to such quality education by those who are deploying that every day um, out in the world. So that was the just, I, mean, I don't know, it just kind of was a paradigm shift for me. Um, as a parent, you know, yes, YouTube does a good job, right? You can go out on YouTube and look up a lot of things, but you're not, you know, the internet does a great job providing information, but it doesn't do a good job educating, right? It still needs that human interaction to educate. It still needs that hands-on experience to educate, and that's what Scouts has done for me as a father uh, and as an adult, honestly, uh, coming into contact with great leaders of their own industry um, and the way they work. And a good example of that was Philmont last year, um, getting to see 11 young men and us two old guys um, try to chase after them through the mountains um, was quite an experience. And something I took away from retired Lieutenant Colonel um, former Joint Chiefs of Staff, so we're talking about quality. That was my cohort uh, leader of that trek at Philmont, so I was in pretty good company. Um, my resume is not that that uh, decorated, but uh, he taught me something from that. He says, you know, when you've got an organization of people, whether it's scouts, whether it's um, adults, whether it's a family, there's a process that people go through, and that process is, you know, a process of forming as a unit. Right. Once you form, you're going to go through some storms. Right. So these 11 young, young men, young boys turning into men went through some storming in those mountains, even when the mountains were storming at us. Um, then there's a, a season of norming where things are kind of like, OK, we're getting used to each other. Right. We're, we're kind of we're kind of getting along here. And you maybe even if you're lucky. And it's by the way, film took about eight months of backpacking treks in preparation and almost every other weekend for eight months to prepare for 75 miles carrying 60 plus pounds on your back for seven plus days. Um, so there was a lot of opportunity for this process of forming, storming, norming, and then if you're lucky, performing. And what was great as a, as a father, Dara Tierra, uh, was being able to see these, these young men perform. Now, sometimes they'd slip back in the storm. <laughs> and sometimes as a dad I wanted to storm some too but the beauty was the beauty was this organization it, it's what it pours in anyway so thank you